Well, welcome back to uh, Old Beater Cars Garage. Well, I am doing another build. I'm working on this. Uh, is it, uh, I've had this kit for quite a while, maybe a few years, I guess now. It's a Lindbergh. Uh, I think it's a 1929 model T kit. It's still level two. It's a 116 scale. Um, they call it the uh, Bullhorn. It's a really good kit. I opened it up and I kind of took all the uh, parts out of the bags. It's a complete kit. Um, don't really to, don't really know what to expect, um, but um, anyways, uh, here we go. Um, some of the features this kit includes is uh, it says it includes uh, complete suspension. Uh, also, it says um, camera is going to have it's going to get a hammer soon. Stupid thing, piece of shit. Anyways, uh, get back to what I was saying here. Some of the features, other features are has uh, rubber tires, uh, soft rubber tires, uh, Model T cowl um, lamps, uh, detailed engine, and uh, it uh, also includes an Indian bullhorn or bulb horn. Well, I'm not going to use that, uh, but you know, whatever. I'm not going to use that stupid thing on there. So, anyways, uh, yeah, here's the uh, parts to the kit. Hopefully my camera don't conk out again. Here's the bucket, bucket sides. You know these model Model Ts were never uh, um, big, big bodies. You know, but uh, you know there's possibilities here. Uh, it's not a flathead engine, but it could be. Some cool parts. Uh, detailed has starter and other stuff there. And probably a uh, air cleaner or something. Engine. I think this is a uh, overhead valve. I believe. Looks like it is. But um, yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. Yeah, the, there's the heads right here. I think it might be even a small box Chevy. Might be. I'm not too sure. Could be. Looks like, kind of looks looks like it, but I'm not too sure. You know, it has a few possibilities. Uh, I can do anything with it. Probably make it a flathead. And here's the rims. Um, I'm not too keen about these holes in the rims, but um, <clears throat> I think I'll probably end up filling the holes and be yeah, like a, a, a complete uh, rim. Probably, probably cut them down and uh, narrow them. Like these are kind of wide here, but just cut them down and because uh, these are these rims are um, they're wide rims, they're offsets wide on them. In the front, of course, of course, you want to narrow a rim on the front. So I'll probably cut them down on the lathe and uh, modify them a bit. It's not a big deal. I'll show how I do that. Cool stuff. Here's the frame rails. Um, not that great. Uh, they're a little bit warped, sorta. And maybe I will be making my own frame rails. Possibly. We shall see. Here's the bucket. It uh, has kind of a, a funky kind of. Um, interior I don't like that too much I may change it but we will see I kind of like the uh, the steel uh, look of the uh, interior where there's none of this there's no interior <clears throat> so you guys know what I mean I mean uh, everyone's seen like those you know hot rod you know seen the hot rod uh, model T's where they have no interior just basic uh, just have a couple seats in there maybe scratch build something you know whatever it's all good. Here is the uh, from the interior, the uh, grill, front uh, grill piece uh, <clears throat> looks a little bit um, wide. Uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe have to uh, lengthen it. We shall see. Part of the uh, <clears throat> there's a little bit of a top part, so I will probably not use that. There are some other parts, uh, some frame parts, uh, radiator support, a radiator, and um, some other stuff here. <coughs> the tires. Here again, the tires are uh, look a bit big, and uh, not very. I mean, there is the, the pie crust detail, which I love that, um, but it doesn't have the tread. Uh, detail in there, it might, uh, but on the back it doesn't, and I don't like that too much. Uh, I'd rather have tread detail in there, but 
uh, I do have another kit I might be able to uh, copy their tires from. Cast them or something. Here's the chrome parts. Uh, has lots of chrome stuff that will have to be de-chromed and uh, you know um, painted body color or whatever I choose. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Tons of goodies. Uh, it has uh, well detailed well detailed carburetors. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I may go with a different intake system. I'm not too sure yet. Here's the backing plates for uh, the brake drums and stuff. There again, it has to be dechromed and uh, you'll go on that route. And suspension parts, uh, you know, a lot of these things will have to be modified. I don't like this here. Um, it's a rear end. It looks like the transmission rear end. Um, I forget what they call it, I think transaxle or something, I'm not too sure. Corvette had this system, I think. I don't know. But I'm, I'm not going to use this, I'm going to make my own uh, rear differential. Uh, just, just to give it that more of a kind of a heritage kind of look. Uh, I don't like this. I'll have to change that. And it has these uh, ladder bars. I'm not going to use that. I'll use, I'll make some out of scratch, scratch built uh, to look like a uh, original. So this kit has tons of possibilities. There's lot, tons of parts. You can do anything with it. Um, you know, there's just so much a person can do with these 116 scales. It's just incredible. And a good old Limburg kit. Uh, they're, uh, you know, they're not um, extremely. Uh, I mean, Limburg instructions. I mean, they're not extremely detailed, but you get the idea. And uh, you built. If you built enough model kits, you kind of know uh, how everything goes. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple it's not uh, nothing complicated uh, yeah so I don't know I mean uh, it is a tea bucket uh, thing um, may do something back here put a little box or something like a pickup box or something but I'm not too sure yet uh, we'll sh we shall see or the gas tank back here I don't know like you know like I said the possibility are endless and anything can be done and uh, you know you'll just have to watch my videos and see what I do It's gonna be cool, and it doesn't matter which way I go here, it's gonna be cool. I'll have a couple pictures um, at the end of my video here. I'll give you a little bit of uh, uh, idea what, what route I'll be taking. Obviously, you guys probably know which route I'm taking. Rat Rod. No. I know uh, people talk about Rat Rods and all these different things, but, um, you know, Hot Rod, Rat Rod, I don't know. I call it Rat Rod. Whatever. So yeah, um, include different some different cool stuff in there, possibly some watch parts and other goodies. You know, uh, just to make it look cool and interesting. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do with this one. So yeah, that's my next build. Uh, other thing I want to say too, um, I'll be doing another uh, drag race video of a couple cars I built uh, a while back, and uh, I think those will be ready for racing. So uh, stay tuned for the. Uh, uh, April uh, 1st or 2nd, something like that, uh, drag race uh, video I'm going to be doing. Um, and also, I will be doing, um, like I, uh, I belong to a car club here, and uh, our car club is involved with the drag race club in uh, another town here. So I'll, I'll probably take some footage of that and also be putting it possibly on this channel. So uh, we shall see. Just make things a little bit interesting. Alright, uh, thanks for watching my videos and uh, stay tuned for uh, more cool stuff to come and uh, please comment, subscribe, uh, you, know the, you know the routine and uh, you know, like I said, cool stuff coming up. Alright guys, you take it easy and see you soon. Ciao.